स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज सीक्वल सीक्वल कमांड्स डी डी एल डी एम एल डी सी एल टी सी एल एंड डी क्यू एल दीज आर द फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ कमांड्स डी डी एल डेटा बेस स्कीमा इन डी बी एम एस डी एम एल मेल्यूपलेट डेटा प्रेजेंट इन डी बी डी सी एल डील्स विद एक्सेस राइट एंड डेटा कंट्रोल ऑन द डेटा प्रेजेंट इन द डेटा बेस डी बी टी सी एल डील्स विद द ट्रांजेक्शन हैपनिंग इन डेटा बेस डी क्यू एल रिट्रीव डेटा फ्रॉम डेटा बेस यूजिंग सीक्वल क्वेरीज डी डी एल मीन्स डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज दैट इज फुलफॉर्म ऑफ डी डी एल डी एम एल डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लैंग्वेज डी सी एल डेटा कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज टी सी एल ट्रांजेक्शन कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज डी क्यू एल डेटा क्वेरी लैंग्वेज सो डी डी एल दैट इज डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ क्रिएट ड्रॉप ऑल्टर एंड ट्रंकेट कमांड्स एंड डी एम एल डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लैंग्वेज इंसर्ट अपडेट एंड डिलीट डी सी एल डेटा कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज ग्रांट रिवोक टी सी एल ट्रांजेक्शन कंट्रोल लैंग्वेज दैट इज कमिट एंड रोल बैक एंड डी क्यू एल डेटा क्वेरी लैंग्वेज दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली वन कमांड दैट इज सेलेक्ट and then the procedure to create create database sample 2 use the database use sample 2 and create table this is procedure of creating a table create table customer name of table is customer and customer id int identity 1 comma 1 primary key we declared customer in customer id as primary key customer number int not null unique check unique check should be customer number is greater than 0 and last name where ka 30 not null first name where ka 30 not null area code int default 71000 address where ka 50 and country where ka 50 default default country is malaysia So if we do not provide any country name, then default would be Malaysia. Bracket closed. Uh, this is come. This is code snippet to insert values in table. Insert into customer values. Hundred fang values. This is values. Fang. These are the values. And then default. And default address. Then display record from table. display all record select all from customer display particular columns so we give the name of columns like customer id customer number last name first name from customer from table customer select then column names and then from customer right table name and number 6 add new column to table that is we use alter table command then table name that is customer then add phone number where ka 20 number 7 add values to newly added column update table update customer set phone number update customer and set phone number is equal to this 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 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 6 6 where customer id is 1 so where customer id is 1 uh, its phone number would be updated to 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 3 4 6 and then update customer set phone number is equal to 4 5 4 5 5 4 6 5 4 Where customer ID is two, so so where customer ID is two, his phone number will be updated to this four 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 five five, and then eight number eight delete a column, alter table customer, drop column phone number. 
so phone number column would be dropped nine delete record from table delete from customer where country is equal to thailand so where country is equal to thailand that row would be deleted if not put where will delete all records if we do not uh, specify uh, where then the whole column uh, whole uh, table would be deleted delete table drop table customer delete whole table D drop table customer would delete whole table change data type alter table customer alter column phone number where cat 10 change data type. that's how we change the data type of a record alter table customer and alter column phone number where can 10 to the data type of uh, uh, column phone number would be updated change then create database that's how we this is the command of creating a database create database sale order we create a database with name of sale order use the database use sale order then create tables create table dbo dot customer bracket open customer id int not null primary key customer first name worker 50 not null customer last name and then up to customer co customer phone number care at all bracket closed and semicolon bracket closed and semicolon create table dbo dot inventory inventory id tiny int not null primary key inventory name where care 50 not null inventory description where care 250 55 null and again another tail uh, table create table dbo dot employee employee id tiny int create database create database shell order use the database use shell order create tables create table dbo dot customer customer id int primary key customer first name customer last name customer address and so, customer server customer city then customer postcode customer phone number care toll create table dbo dot inventory inventory id tiny int not null primary key inventory name where care 50 not null inventory description where care 255 null create a table dbo dot inventory inventory id tiny int primary key inventory name where care 50 inventory description where care 255 then again create table dbo dot employee employee id tiny int primary key employee first name where care 50 employee last name where care 50 employee extension care 4 and create table dbo dot sale sale id tiny int primary key customer int references customer customer id then inventory id employee id sale date sale quantity we created column sale unit price the small money not null so this this is how we create a table name sale number four check what table inside select or stress from information schema dot tables so it will uh, tell us all the tables inside that schema select all from information schema dot tables Number five, view specific row. Top show only the first two rows. So we use a code snippet. Select top two asterisk from customer. That will show only top two rows. And then top 40% asterisk from customer. That will show top 40%. View a specific column. Sort result by default is ascending. Select customer first name customer last name from customer order by customer last name desc that is descending this will show in descending order so select customer first name comma customer last name from customer order by 
फोर कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर बाई बेस्ट ऑन कॉलम नंबर विदाउट टाइपिंग कॉलम नेम वी कैन टाइप कॉलम नंबर विदाउट टाइपिंग इट्स नेम बट ही इन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टाइप कस्टमर लास्ट नेम दैट वॉज नेम ऑफ कॉलम बट इन सेकेंड वी टाइप फोर कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ कॉलम कॉलम नंबर डिस्टिंक्ट ओनली शो यूनिक वैल्यू सेलेक्ट डिस्टिंक्ट कस्टमर लास्ट नेम फ्रॉम कस्टमर ऑर्डर बाई कस्टमर लास्ट नेम सो इट विल शो ओनली डिस्टिंक्ट वैल्यूज नॉट डुप्लीकेट वैल्यूज ओनली यूनिक वैल्यूज विल बी शो सेवन शेप टेबल टू अनादर टेबल इन टू फाइल नेम सेव रिजल्ट इन अदर टेबल पेज टेबल सेलेक्ट डिस्टिंक्ट कस्टमर लास्ट नेम इन टू टेम फ्रॉम कस्टमर ऑर्डर बाय कस्टमर लास्ट नेम सेलेक्ट ऑल फ्रॉम टे टेम सी द टेबल डेटा टाइप विल रिमेन सो दैट्स हाउ वी सेव रिजल्ट इन अनादर टेबल नेम्ड टेम दिस इज कोड स्निपेट Select distinct customer last name into temp into temp from customer order by customer last name. Number eight, like search something. Underscore sign is only specific for one character only. Percents represent zero, one or multiple character. Select all from customer where customer last name like in a. सिंगल कोट्स अंडर स्कोर आर परसेंट अंडर स्कोर रिप्रेजेंट वन कैरेक्टर एंड परसेंट रिप्रेजेंट मल्टीपल कैरेक्टर एनी कैरेक्टर एनी नंबर ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स एंड एनी कैरेक्टर कैन बी देयर इन प्लेस ऑफ परसेंट नंबर नाइन इन सर्च समथिंग सर्च मल्टीपल आइटम्स सिलेक्ट ऑल फ्रॉम कस्टमर वेयर कस्टमर लास्ट नेम इन देन ओपन ब्रैकेट इन सिंगल कोर्ट्स ब्राउन कॉमा इन सिंगल कोर्ट्स माइकल कॉमा इन सिंगल कोर्ट्स जिम सो द लास्ट नेम विद ब्राउन माइकल एंड जिम विल बी शो विल बी डिस्प्लेड नंबर टेंथ सर्च समथिंग ग्रेटर देन सिलेक्ट ऑल From customer where customer last name is greater than in single quotes brown or customer last name is greater than cross. Number eleventh, not equal. Select all from customer where customer last name is not equal to brown. All others except brown will be shown in the result. Number twelve is null. Check null value. Select all from customer where customer last name is null. Number thirteenth is not null. Select all from customer where customer last name is not null. So all the all the records with a null last name. Will not be shown between select number fourteen. It between select all from sale where sale unit price between five and ten. Not include five and ten. So six, seven, eight, nine will be shown where sale unit price. Sale unit price with number six, seven, eight, nine will be shown between five and ten. Number fifteenth count. Return the number of rows in a table as means as. That is capital letter A and S means aliasing, temporarily giving name to a column table. And its code snippet is select count in bracket asterisk as number of records. So a column with number of records will be created from customer where customer first name like. B percent in single quotes. B percent it means uh, the customer first name will start with B, with any number of characters after that. Number sixteen sum. Select sale dot employee id comma employee first name comma employee last name 
comma count in sing uh, in bracket asterisk as number of order comma some sale quantity as total quantity from sale comma employee where sale dot employee id is equal to employee dot employee id group by sale dot employee id comma employee first name comma employee last name that's how we perform is sum number 17 count month select month sale date as month count asterisk as number of sale some sale quantity into sale unit price as total amount sale quantity into sale unit price that is total amount total amount uh, column would be created from sale group by month sale data that's how we count month number 18th max select max salary from employee salary the maximum salary will be displayed min salary select min m i capital m i n salary from employee salary so minimum salary will be displayed average select average salary from employee salary so average salary will be counted number 21 having select job title count job title from employee demographics that is ed join employee salary es on ed dot employee is equal to es dot employee id group by job title having count job title is greater than one select job title on my average salary from employee demographics ed join employee salary es on ed dot employee id employee id is equal to es dot employee group by job title having average salary is greater than 45000 order by average salary so that's how we use having Number 22 change data type temporary for use cast expression as data type length select cost then in single quotes 2017-08-2500 colon 00 colon 00.000 and single quotes as date so convert data type length comma expression comma style select convert date comma in single quotes the state number 23 case statement select first name comma last name comma age case when age is greater than 30 then old when age between 27 and 30 then young else baby in single quotes end from employee demographics ed where age is not null order by age this is a code snippet to use a case statement so there are case then end uh, in between when clause when when age is greater than 30 then when then else case when then when then then else then end this is code snippet of case statement Then select first name, last name, comma job title, comma salary case when job title is greater uh, is equal to salesman. Then salary plus salary. Then we perform this operation. Salary plus salary into point one zero. That is ten percent high. When job title is equal to accountant, then salary plus salary into zero point zero five is five percent high. Then salary. then similarly we perform a percentage hike on a hr then else salary plus salary into 0.03 percent hike and as salary after raise that's how we end it from employee demographics id join employee salary is on ed dot employee id is equal to es dot employee id so this is another uh, example of case statement partition by number 24 return a single value for each row select first name last name gender salary count gender over partition by gender as total gender from employee demographics id join employee salary es on id dot employee id is equal to es dot employee id in the output we get aggregated value similar to a group by clause 
you might notice a difference in output the sql partition by and group by class output there are some string functions number 25 a remove space select employee id trim employee id as id trim from employee errors that's how we trim uh, the remove spaces select employee id r trim it right spaces would be removed then l trim left spaces will be removed then replace select last name replace select substring er dot first name comma 1 comma 3 substring dem dot first name comma 1 comma 3 comma substring er dot last name comma 1 comma 3 substring dem dot last name 1 comma 3 from employee errors err join employee demographics dem on substring er dot first name 1 comma 3 is equals to substring dem dot first name comma 1 comma 3 and substring er dot last name 1 comma 3 is equal to substring dem dot last name comma 1 comma 3 that's how we use substring then upper and lower case select first name comma lower first name from employee errors select first name comma upper first name from employee errors that's how we use upper case and lower case number 26 stored procedure number 26 stored procedure a stored procedure is a prepared sql code that you can save so that the code can be reused over and over again so if you have a sql code query that you write over and over again save it as a stored procedure and then just call it to execute it here is an example create procedure temp employee at the rate job title and worker 100 as drop table if it exist hashtag temp employees create table temp employees job title worker employee per job int average age int average salary int bracket to insert into temp employee select job title count job title average age average employee from employee demographics join employee salary on emp dot employee id is equal to sell dot employee id where job title is equal to at the rate job title make sure to change this in this script from original level group by job title only need to run this on next time ex ec exec temp employee at the rate job title is equal to salesman then the stored procedure would be executed with this command exc temp employees at the rate job title is equal to salesman a sub query or inner query or a nested query is a query within another sql query and embedded within clauses most commonly in where clause it is used to return data from a table and this data will be used in mere query as a condition to further restrict the data to be retrieved save and sub query sub query in select select employee id salary then in a single uh, in column select average salary from employee salary as a average also average salary from employee salary with partition by select employee id salary average salary over as all average salary from employee salary so this would be output a sub query in from another code snippet is this select a dot employee id all average salary from select employee id salary average salary over as all average salary from employee salary sub query in where select employee id job title salary from employee salary where employee id is select employee id from employee demographics where age is greater than 30 select employee id job title salary from employee salary where salary in select max salary from employees sql joins inner join self join outer join cross join outer join there are three types of outer join left outer join route outer join full outer join Number one, getting data from multiple tables, explicit join without using join command. Example one, select all from inventory, 
comma sale where sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id example 2 this is the code snippet select inventory name comma sale date comma sale unit price comma sale quantity comma sale quantity into sale unit price as total amount from sale comma inventory where sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id group by sale dot inventory id comma inventory name comma sale date comma sale quantity comma sale unit price order by inventory name number two getting data from multiple tables implicit join using join command inner join select all from inventory inner join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id select se second code snippet is select inventory name comma sale date comma sale unit price comma sale quantity comma sale unit price into sale quantity as total amount from inventory inner join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id order by inventory name so we get the common part of inventory and sales so this is an example of inner join full outer join shows everything let's Full outer join shows everything. Select sale dot inventory id comma inventory name from inventory full outer join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id where sale dot inventory id is null. It shows everything. Full outer join shows everything. So next left a join might have null value since some inventory might not have sales. Select inventory dot inventory id dot comma inventory name from inventory left join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id it shows everything from left inventory in this example and the common part between inventory and sale so left join left to join select uh, inventory dot inventory id comma inventory name from inventory left to join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id where sale dot inventory id is null when we uh, write this that uh, sale dot inventory id is equal to null then it will remove the common part between inventory and sale only only part of uh, inventory in table will be visible so where sale dot inventory id is null will remove the part sale table common to both inventory and sale next without a join use subquery select inventory id comma inventory name from inventory where inventory id not in select inventory id from sale this is without join using by using subquery we can get this result right join select sale dot inventory id comma name inventory name from inventory right join sale on sale dot inventory id is equal to inventory dot inventory id so in this all records from a right table that is sales will be visible and that includes also the common part between sale and inventory so everything from the right table in this case sales table everything from the sales table will be shown that is right join third self join commonly used in processing hierarchy inner join staff table so this is a staff table where employee id employee first name employee last name manager id these are four columns given select e dot employee this is code snip snippet and this code is a code for inner join 
where we perform inner join on stuff E and stuff M. This is the output. Then uh, left outer join list all employees. This is the no code snippet from stuff E left outer join stuff M and E dot manager ID is equal to M dot employee ID. So output will be this then employee ID 1012103 and manager ID then manager name number 4 cross join cross join generate all com cross join generate all combination records all possibility card is input set are from inventory 1 cross join inventory 2 this equal joins so these are the visual representation of SQL joins. So we start from left where uh, there are two tables A and B. Select select a list from table A A left join table B B on A dot key is equal to B dot key. This code snippet will select whole red part shown in this picture, which includes part of A and part of uh, common to A both table A and B we have to select we have to select a common part between A and B then we use select a select list from table A A inner join table B B on A dot key is equal to B dot key this will show the common part between A and B we want to find out the part of a in red color not overlapping with B so we use this code snippet select select list from a a left join table B B on a dot key is equal to B dot key where B dot key is now. this will remove part of a overlapping with B so we will get the desired suppose we have to find out only part of B in red color so we use the code snippet right join select uh, select list from table a a right join table b b on a dot key is equal to b dot key where a dot key is null so a dot key is null will remove the common part between a and b and we will get only the part of b which is not common to a so we get the desired part that is in red color Suppose we have to find out part of A and B which is not common to A and B then we use this code select select list from table A A full outer join table B B on A dot key is equal to B dot key where A dot key is null or B dot key is null. So A dot key is null or B dot key is null will remove the common part Suppose we have to find all the records present in A and B then we use full outer join on table A and B on A dot key is equal to B dot key. This will result in whole record present in A and B. SQL unions. SQL Union unions. allow you to combine two tables together but the number of columns and each column's data types for two tables must be matched. Don't need common key, only need common attributes. Merge not showing duplicate records. Select cust L name, comma cust F name from customer union. Select cust L name, comma cust F name from customer 2. Select number two union all merge but show you everything even the duplicate record select cost l name cost f name from customer union all select cost l name comma cost f name from customer two so customer one and customer two this will show whole record from both tables number third intersect keep only the rows in common to both query not showing duplicate records Select cust L name, comma cust F name from customer intersect. Select cust L name, comma cust F name from customer 2. This will show only rows common to both queries. 
you can see the colored part in customer and customer to table not showing duplicate record select c dot customer and name dot c customer f name from customer c dot customer to c2 where c dot customer l name is equal to c2 dot customer l name and c dot f name is equal to c2 dot customer f name number four accept generate only the records that are unique to the customer table Select cust L name from customer. Comma cust F name from customer. Accept. Select cust L name. Comma cust F name from customer two. F name from customer. So this is like a left join, and this will show only the part exclusive to customer table, not common to both. Accept. Generate only the records that are. Use you subquery. Customer table. Select customer use su subquery. We can also use subquery to get the same results. Select cust l name dot cust f name from customer where cust l name not in. Select cust l name from cust two and cust not f name not in. Select cust f name from customer two. So this is code snippet. We can use to get the same result. Table and view. View table. Number view one. View table. The view will be updated base. when view update is base. View is a result set of sequence statements, sequence sequence statements sequence exist sequence only for single query. Create, customer create customer view customer view as, customer view as. select customer first customer name plus name plus, name plus customer, customer last name, name as customer name. Customer, customer phone, phone number, number inventory name, name sale date, sale quantity, comma sale a unit price, sale quantity, sale unit price as total amount. As total amount from customer inner join sale on customer dot customer ID is equal to sale dot customer ID inner join inventory on sale dot inventory ID is equal to inventory dot inventory ID so the common part of the three tables customer inventory and sales will be shown Temp table. Temp will not be updated when the update base. A single hashtag. Shine must be added in front of their names used to store data temporarily. Physically created in the temp DB database can perform crude join and some other operations like the persistent database tables. Drop table if exist. Hashtag temp underscore employee. Create table hashtag temp employee. Job title worker hundred employee. Per job int average int average salary. This is code snippet. Insert into hashtag temp employee. Select a job title count, job title, average age, average salary from employee demographics and employee join. Join salary cell on emp dot employee id is equal to cell dot employee id group by job title. Select all from hashtag temp employee. <coughs> Number third common table expression that is CTE create temporary result set which is used to manipulate the complex subqueries data created in memory rather than temp DB database so cannot create any index on CTE with CTE employee as select first name last name gender salary count gender over partition by gender as total gender from employee graphics ed join employee salary es on ed dot employee id is equal to es dot employee id where salary is greater than 45000 this is course snippet select first name last name gender total total gender from cte underscore employee where total gender is equal to in bracket select a min total gender from cte underscore employee number four duplicate table Select customer first name plus customer last name as customer name, customer phone number, inventory name, comma sale data, comma sale quantity, comma sale unit price, sale quantity into sale unit price as total amount into customer record from customer inner join sale on customer customer ID is equal to sale dot customer ID inner join inventory on sale inventory ID is equal to inventory dot inventory ID 
ऑर्डर बाई कस्टमर फर्स्ट नेम प्लस कस्टमर लास्ट नेम कॉमा इन्वेंट्री नेम सो दिस इज द कोर्स इन पेट फॉर डुप्लीकेट टेबल दैट्स ऑफ वी क्रिएट डुप्लीकेट टेबल सीक्वल रैंक्स नंबर वन रो नंबर गेट अ यूनिक सिक्वेंसियल नंबर फॉर ईच रो गेट डिफरेंट रैंक्स फॉर द रो हैविंग सिमिलर वैल्यूज डिफरेंट रैंक्स फॉर द रो हैविंग सिमिलर वैल्यूज शो दे आर फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड हैव सिमिलर वैल्यूज बट दे हैव गॉट डिफरेंट रैंक्स लाइक फाइव एंड सिक्स सेलेक्ट दिस इज कोर्ट स्निपेट सेलेक्ट ऑल कमा रो नंबर ओवर ऑर्डर बाई सैलरी डिसेंडिंग सैलरी रैंक फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉई salary and we get different rank for similar values number 2 rank specify rank for each row in the result set use partition by to perform calculation on each group each subset get rank as per salary in descending order using partition by select all this is course snippet select all rank over partition by job title order by salary descending desc that is descending salary rank from employee salary order by job title comma salary rank so here we get two subset in this uh, one one subset here is of accountant and other another is of salesman so an accountant subset we get two ranks 1 and 2 and then in salesman subset we get a four rank 1 2 so in this uh, in this subset all the salesman has been ranked in descending order one rank first rank salesman holds on uh, 63000 salary second one is 48000 salary third 55000 for this 43000 and in this subset accountant subset 47000 first rank and then 42000 salary rank is second this is how we use partition to rank according to job title another method we can use but not using partition by get same rank for the row having similar value select all rank over order by salary descending salary rank from uh, employee salary order by salary rank here 47000 47000 salary they are getting different they are getting for similar values same rank but it has skipped 6 number 3 dense rank if have duplicate values sequel assigns different ranks to those rows will get the same rank for duplicate or similar values select all dense rank over order by salary descending salary rank from employee salary order by salary rank here for 47000 for 27000 salary we are getting 5 5 rank but it is not skipping the next in order that is 6 yeah. but when we use rank then it has it had skipped 6 but here it is not skipping 6 it is giving 6 5 5 then 6 then 7 so that is the difference between de- using dense rank and rank rank and dense rank what is the difference between rank and dense rank so this is the code snippet of rank and dense rank so there is no much difference between the code snippet except the rank using rank function and dense rank function the difference is here like 1 2 2 2 4 we are getting 1 2 2 4 it is skipping 
but in dense rank we are getting 1 2 2 3 it is not skipping 3 for similar values it is giving same rank like 48000 48000 it is giving second second rank but 43000 rank it has skipped 3 and jumped to 4 it has uh, assigned it 4 fourth rank but in dense rank uh, for 48000 48000 it has uh, assigned 2 and 2 rank but for 43000 it has assigned third rank and has not skipped the third but in rank in the case of rank it has skipped third so this is a difference between rank and dense rank in rank skip a rank if have similar values in dense rank maintains the rank and does not give any gap for the values this is the main difference between rank and dense rank. N tile function in SQL Server is a window function that distributes rows of an ordered partition into a predefined number of roughly equal groups. It assigns each group a number expression ranging from 1. N tile function assigns a number expression for every row in a group to which the row belongs. Like select N tile 3 that is the number in which uh, we want to divide the rows in number of groups group of numbers is 3 group 1 group 2 and group 3 so n tile function will divide the number of rows into 3 groups using partition by so this is course snippet and tile over partition by job title order by salary descending salary rank from employee salary order by job title salary rank so this will divide uh, this is uh, one subset in with accountant one two there are two groups in one partition and then next partition there are three groups group one group two and group three like one one it has given to salesman 63,001, 48,001, 48,000 second, 43,000 third. So there are three groups has been generated using partition by. Write the query to show the invoice number, the customer number, the customer name, the invoice date and the invoice amount for all customers with a customer balance of one thousand dollar or more select answer is select invoice number comma c dot customer number comma c dot customer by l name comma c dot customer f name inverse invoice date invoice amount from customer c comma invoice where c dot customer number is equal to invoice dot customer number and customer balance is greater than or equal to one thousand Select invoice uh, number, comma c dot customer number, comma c dot l name plus customer f name as name. Invoice date, comma invoice amount from customer c join invoice i on c dot customer where customer balance is greater than equal to thousand is null expression comma value expression to test whether is null value to return if expression is null parcel id is same but unique id is different can assume that if the parcel id is same the property address will be same select a dot parcel id a dot property address b dot parcel id so is null a dot property address b dot property address from nursville housing a join nursville housing b a dot parcel id is equal to b dot parcel id and a dot unique id is not equal to b dot unique id where a dot property address is null this is code snippet update record update a set property address is equal to is null a dot property b dot property address from nasville housing a join nasville housing b on a dot parcel id is equal to b dot parcel id and a dot unique id is 
not equal to b dot unique id where a dot property address is null so that's how we update record and third split by delimiter substring string start length care index substring string comma start length string length string is so length we have to find select property address substring property address comma one this is code snippet substring property address care index uh, here we find uh, the length of a property address length pro as CT from Nashville housing alter table Nashville housing add property split address and where care 255 alter table Nashville housing add property split city and where care 255 so this is the code Update Nashville option set property address is equal to substring property address comma one comma chair and care index comma property address minus one update Nashville option set property so this is the code snippet where we have used care index characters parse name object name object piece numbering works from right to left so that's how this is the code snippet for numbering from right to left pass name replace owner address comma dot three pass name replace pass name replace from Nashville housing alter table add owner split alter table Nashville add owner split and where care update Nashville housing set owner split as go pass name to address update Nashville housing Update Nashville housing set owner split city is equal to pass name replace owner address remove duplicate records number five remove duplicate records over the row num city is a select all row number over partition by partial id property address sale price sale date legal reference order by unique id as a row number from nashville housing order by parcel id so delete select all from row num cte where row num is greater than one order by property address this is the code to remove duplicate records